sometimes you just love to see the brazen disregard for the rules be eventually rewarded again because Alex Cora is officially back with the Boston Red Sox. Yes, the guy who was... Uh, had a major role to play with the Houston Astros cheating scandal in 2017, you know, had to step away from his position momentarily as manager of the Red Sox because, yeah, he was implicated in the cheating scandal that uh, ended up with the uh, Houston Astros winning the World Series in 2017. And, hey, after a year away and, you know, having to really think about his thought, think about his actions and spend his time and time out and, yeah, fuck, now he's back. Cool, I guess, uh, yeah, a year's really enough to pay for the fact that you cheated the Dodgers and, well, everybody else in the American League out of fair series against uh, your Astros at the time. You were, in fact, on the coaching staff, but, hey, Boston doesn't care. They still got that big uh, Black Lives Matter banner outside, right? So, yeah, fuck your feelings. We're just going to do whatever the hell we want. Yeah, <laughs> go figure. And I th figured, hey, we'll cover this story because I love baseball and enough about the election for the time being, right? Because it's only just going to continue to carry on and get wilder and wilder as each day goes on. So let's take a look at this one here. Former Red Sox manager Alex Score is officially returning to coach the team, according to reports. It's no surprise that the Red Sox would hire Cora, as practically every manager involved in the 2017 cheating scandal has been hired since. Somebody should call Beltran Stat to see if he can get his job back in Queens. Well, there's a new owner for the New York Mets, so would you put that out of the realm of possibility? This is still, yep, 2020 after all. Bringing back the brains of the 2018 World Series run seems like a good idea. Good idea, bad idea. Of course, he was involved in the cheating but the hectic year has caused many people to forget about the scandal. The Red Sox finished in last place this year. Yeah, because uh, they have nobody left except for Alex Verdugo, who looks like he might be one hell of a good player. He was the only thing that was salvageable on the Boston half of the Los Angeles Dodgers deal, but hey, whatever. And lost future Hall of Famer Mookie Betts. Yeah, unless something terrible happens to him. I hope that doesn't happen. To the 2020 World Series, less. World Series champion Los Angeles Dodger, Dodgers, the latter of which really angered fans. Well, tough titties. Bringing Alex Cora back might return some of the winning mojo to soften the blow of losing bets. Cora likely can't wave a magic wand. <laughs> like Barack Obama said about President Trump, yeah, he can't just wave a magic wand and bring back manufacturing jobs. But I said I wasn't going to talk about the election. Well, to be fair, that wasn't exactly about the election. It was just something that happened during the debates anyways to fix the dreadful Red Sox pitching staff but he might be able might bring some hope to the locker room it's absolutely worth a shot exactly why not and that is just <laughs> typical baseball right now you know what so what really happened to the Houston Astros you know they were actually found victims of well, they weren't victims the only people who were actually ended up being victimized were you know the people that they cheated out of you know, the World Series, the Dodgers for one, and, uh, yeah, everybody they played in the 2017 ALCS and ALDS as well, and who knows how long, how far back into the season that went, because, um, you guys remember Jose Altuve running around the bases, oh my god, don't take off my jersey after I, you know, hit the walk-off base hit, but, um, yeah. And you know what, fuck it, I will double back onto the election, because, uh, this is a nice, perfect segue. There was really no... Oh, penalty for what happened to the Houston Astros coming out of this. Okay, yeah, Alex Cora had to step away from his job. Carlos Beltran's well, still a millionaire from his playing days, and you definitely shouldn't hold that against him. But uh, yeah, he'll he'll get hired somewhere. He'll be a hitting coach and be a damn good hitting coach somewhere. Or yeah, AJ Hinch. I hear if he hasn't already got a job, he is currently in talks with a bunch of other clubs that are looking for managers at the time being. But uh, that's why they did this cheating because a it's tough to prove and b what are the consequences really that's what we're seeing right now you know if you don't if you don't cheat you don't try right like how the patriots with um spygate nothing happened there really oh you know we're gonna take a draft pick away from you lower draft pick oh okay cool and uh knowing the patriots they just ended up 
trading up, down, around, shipping out somebody who is on the fucking lower half of the depth chart out and make, remaking up that draft pick. So really, it doesn't much matter. Just one fewer guy who gets a shot at the NFL of that year of the draft. And the team that actually cheated, well, they went on to have the perfect regular season. Last time I can remember a team that actually got punished and made a significant difference to their history was uh, the... The Black Sox back in, oh God, what was that, turn of the century, uh, 1917? Because the Red Sox won it in 1918. I think it was 1917. Several several of their players didn't end up going to the Hall of Fame, even though they should have. And uh, yeah, that scandal was punished 100%. And Pete Rose broke the rules by betting on his teams to at least win. But the all-time Major League Baseball hits leader isn't in the Hall of Fame and probably won't be until long after he's dead. But when he just slap people on the wrist, especially like Alex Cora here... Uh, for all intents and purposes, you incentivize cheating by not punishing it, without punishing it, sorry. Because if you have a rule and you don't enforce it, you don't have a rule. If you have a law and you don't enforce it, you don't have a law. That's why I've been so feverishly against mail-in ballots right now. To be more specific, I suppose, on this case. You know what? If um, the shifting goalposts of widespread voter fraud doesn't get 100% proven... This is going to be the norm for every government around the world because they can point right at the United States. Hey, look at that. 330 million people. Yeah, they sent out widespread uh, mail-in ballots and uh, there was no no impropriety there. The, the courts didn't find anything. Everything was fine and perfect. It's just the fact that, uh, yeah, for the next 50 years, they're just going to be voting Democrat and it looks like... Uh, LBJ's uh, prophecy of a certain group of people going to be voting for the Democratic Party for the next 200 years, and it looks like that prophecy sure as shit is going to be coming true. And isn't that a fun future? So, start punishing these cheaters a, a lot more vociferously. Stop letting them get off the hook, what, a year, 10 months after the fact? Honestly, you punish the Red Sox for one year, but uh, they have some of the deepest pockets in all of baseball, and they can just go out and buy some fucking free agents over the next five years, and their mass exodus and their trading history isn't really going to come back to bite them because, yeah, they got scouts, and it's the Boston Red Sox after all. Name recognition matters in every aspect of life, and they definitely have a leg up in that scenario, so... Hopefully that was a nice little quasi-distraction. I tried not to uh, talk about the election right now, but it is definitely front and center, and I just used little analogies and not too much of a breakdown because uh, it's impossible to keep on top of everything right now because it keeps shifting at such a rapid pace right now. But with that said, I thank you all very, very much for the gift of your time. And by the way, before we end here, I uh, just cracked 75 subscribers, and I uh, thank you guys very, very much. That is super cool and very unexpected and uh, I know there's no like official milestone you don't get anything specific for it but um, I'm very glad 75 of you out there take the time to you know hit that little subscribe button and I really appreciate it thank you all very very much thank I can't stress that enough I really appreciate you guys out there I've been Don Consuelo I want you guys to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone